What's going on guys? Dylan Conrad, Coach Con Diesel. Today I'm going to talk to you about five different ways to eliminate late night snacking. Before I get into that, uh, follow me on social media at Coach underscore Con Diesel. If you're watching this on YouTube, like, subscribe, turn notifications on. It all helps the algorithm. So this is near and dear to my heart because I'm a night snacker. And first and foremost, let me say that night snacking isn't the problem. When night snacking causes you to fall off your diet model, overeat, you know, stuff like that, miss your macros, then it becomes a problem. So night snacking isn't the problem, the problem is going over, right? The long-term game plan is obviously finding the root cause of the problem. So for example, if you have crazy days, you are just very stressed out, long-term game plan for that would be taking that stress away, eliminating it, or taking that down a notch by meditating some sort of long-term strategy. Short term, I'm gonna give you five different ways that you can eliminate late night snacking. Okay, so first and foremost is delay and distract. This is an awesome one. We coach our clients on this all the time. You have a craving and then you take action on that craving. There's no wedge in between. So what we do is we create that wedge in between by delaying and distracting on that craving so it doesn't turn into an action. So things that you can do to delay and distract, walk, have sex, get lost in social media, read a book, Things that you can do to distract yourself from the cravings. So that's number one. Number two, if you are always night snacking, just fit into your diet model. Stack your meals later into the day so you have a ton of calories left at the end of the day. Put in your favorite snacks ahead of time so in the morning when you wake up, go into your pantry. I like eating Pop-Tarts, cereal, all that stuff. Fit it into your, your food log and then the rest of the day you're just going to kind of adjust so everything fits in. So just fitting into your diet model is a really good way for you to actually night snack and stick with your diet model. Okay, number three, this sounds very woo woo. My parents live in Topanga Canyon, huge hippies. They're all about this and it's affirmations. How you talk to yourself, your subconscious, eventually becomes conscious. 50% of all results out there are from the placebo effect. So if you think that you are actually getting a result you are going to eventually get a result. There's 50% chance of that, right? If you really believe in it. So telling yourself affirmations, I am strong and disciplined around food, things like that will really help you. If you're repeating that all day throughout the day, it's gonna really help you sink that into your subconscious. So that conscious just becomes subconscious and second nature for you. And you are a disciplined person around food. Number four, find an accountability partner. So this cannot be a spouse, this cannot be a friend. This has to be someone who has, you have a mentor-mentee communication. So some sort of person that is a mentor to you, that can speak to you and tell you what you need to hear and not what you wanna hear. It can be real with you and call you out on your shit. That is an accountability partner, right? So find one, be a person that you met at the gym, person that you met on different nutrition program, someone you met on Facebook that's really into fitness, that can be a great resource for you. So find an accountability partner, that's number four. Number five, using the hunger scale. So you have a hunger scale one through 10. It takes the human body 30 plus days to starve to death. So if you are a 10 out of 10 on hunger, that means that you've gone 30 days without eating. So really use that hunger scale accordingly 30 days is, is number 10, so like you're already starving death, and number one is like you're stuffed to the brim. If you go above number five, four on onset of cravings, if you feel a craving, you're like, ooh, I'm hungry, and it's above a four, you need to readjust your thinking because your hunger scale is way off, and you really need to build some armor up and get your tolerance up to tolerate hunger. And so doing that hunger scale, checking with your stomach, being like, okay, how full is my tank right now? Is my tank my stomach, right? Is that full of food or is it a completely empty and I'm like growling and, and you know I need some food? Chances are if you're late night snacking, it's gonna be somewhere between like a one and a negative four, right? And so really using this hunger scale will give you a very easy uh, objective way to measure whether you're hungry and that will distract you and that will be like, oh, I'm not hungry at all and then you'll be good to go. You want a sixth layer of accountability so you don't deviate and night snack and fall off your diet model? Invest. Paying for something, you are gonna go, your mind goes where your money goes, right? And if you're investing in coaching, you are going to do whatever your coach says because you're invested into it. And that makes you coachable and that's gonna make you someone who sees results on any program. So if you're ready to invest and actually be able to make a return on your money by winning $3,000 from our grand prize for the six week transformation challenge, enroll in it. I'm gonna put a link down there, dcfitness.la slash enrollment dash form and fill that information out. I'm gonna be giving you a call and we'll get you squared away. This starts Monday the 19th. We're having orientations all this week, so jump on it. 
and uh, let's get after it. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Hopes this helps.